Malheur County, Oregon is home to Ontario, which is the largest city in Eastern Oregon and sometimes considered the Western Treasure Valley. I mean, it's right there. So forgive us if we step just outside of the 208 for a second and just into the 541 to tell you this. Today, Oregon Governor Kate Brown announced Malheur County is one of 11 Oregon counties that will remain in the high risk category for COVID. Not because cases are climbing, but because vaccine rates are not. You can see on that map, this map right here, that what we're talking about. By staying in that high risk category, it means Malheur County will have to keep several COVID restrictions in place, like indoor dining cannot exceed 25%. Gyms and other indoor venues like movie theaters can only operate at 10% capacity. Retail stores, 50% capacity. Just across the border in the Gem State, we're completely open, no restrictions on anything. So how does Malheur County move out of that high risk category? Well, 65% of residents need to get at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. And right now, they're at 34.8%, just under 35%, which is the lowest in the entire state. And you're probably thinking, it's rural Eastern Oregon. Malheur County can't be the only one in the region that is a bit vaccine hesitant. And, and you're right. On the Idaho side, Payette County, right on this side of the border, and where we went last month to ask why they are so low, they're sitting at 28% of those 12 and up who've gotten at least one COVID shot. Adams County, almost 38%. This data from the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare, by the way. Overall, the state of Oregon is nearing 70% total in vaccination rates. And once it surpasses that goal of 70%, Governor Brown says she will then lift the county by county restrictions. Meanwhile, Idaho, we're nearing 46% with at least one dose. But as we mentioned earlier, we're open. Idaho is open. We've been that way for all intents and purposes since last summer. However, individual businesses can still choose to require masks and other restrictions, which is something the state of Idaho has really never done.